Hey, this is David Wells, and I'm gonna show you how to use forms with the WordPress landing page plugin. So after you've installed the landing page tool, um, what you wanna do is obviously create your first landing page. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into add new landing pages. And I'm gonna go ahead and let's go with the paper theme that I got from the plugin store, which is a free template that we created for you guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and name this the paper demo and we'll go ahead and have a primary headline. So primary headline and this would be the content area. Cool. So the way to insert a form into the landing page is actually in the landing page form or conversion area. Um, out of the box, we actually don't have our own form tool right now. We actually did that for a reason, and that's to let you guys use whatever form uh, plugin that you already use with WordPress landing pages. Um, so what that means is we don't create forms for you. You can code you know, your own HTML form right here in the HTML view. Uh, we don't recommend that. We actually recommend using uh, Gravity Forms or Contact Form 7 as a uh, form plugin. There's other form plugins that work out there. There's actually a lot of them. Um, as long as it's not an iframe form pulling in from another site, the form will work with the landing page plugin and you will be able to track you know, views and conversion rates on those landing pages. So yeah, so basically we're form agnostic. Uh, I'm gonna show you a quick example here of how to add a form with Gravity Forms. So obviously you would need to create a form with Gravity Forms first. So then uh, once I, I hit the add form button, what you can see is, oh, here are my two forms. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove these two things, insert it into the page. And now if I were to publish this uh, paper demo here, all right, and then go into the landing page, what we can see is here we go. There's our primary headline, subheadlines, which is in the settings, content, and then there's that gravity form. So if I were to submit this form, it would count as a conversion on the site. So that's how you add in a form to a specific landing page. Every landing page uh, should uh, use the landing page form or conversion button area. So what a conversion button is, is basically a link. So if I were to put in a link in here, or a button or what have you. And again, you can use short codes or other plugins to do this, as long as it's an actual HTML link on this page. I can add in a link, hyperlink it. Let's just put this pointing to Google. And if I update this page, so it's just a regular HTML link. You can use images and hyperlink the images, etc. But what you can actually do now is track the conversion rate. Are people actually clicking on the main call to action here? So there's a couple different things you can do with the conversion area. But um, yeah, we got a lot of questions on, you know, where's the forms? How do I create forms? And the, the answer is we don't create the forms for you. So again, I recommend using a plugin called Gravity Forms. There's also uh, the free Contact Form 7, which is a very, very popular form WordPress plugin. There's also formidable forms. And if you just wanna you know, copy and paste the embed code out of like, let's say you're using MailChimp or Constant Contact, you, you can go in and copy their HTML form as well and then go into the landing page tool. You'll wanna click the text view because this is where you would drop in HTML and I can go ahead and paste that MailChimp sign up form or constant contact or what have you. As long as this is not an iframe, which this is a form here, a form looks like this, form and then close form, uh, we will track those conversions and you'll be able to continuously optimize that landing page.